What's your opinion on sliding on a hard court? And is it something you can teach or... Yeah, do you teach that or what, what's your idea on it's that? A, it's a great question. We have a, well, uh, we have a pretty good uh, talk with Tommy regarding that with Brad. Brad is uh, not a huge fan of sliding on hardcore. Okay. Um, especially, I want to be clear on this, especially before the hitting. Sometimes, you know, after the hitting, if there is some sliding after, you know, we're fine with it. But we try to avoid it as much as possible. Does that mean that uh, does that mean that it's not going to happen? No, it's going to happen. Like you're going to see Tommy sliding and hitting many times. I mean, it's fine. If it is a part of the game, you know, and, and it happens, you know, in a certain scenario and you need to use it, you might use it, but it's not something that you want to be forcing. Today morning, it's funny enough, I was watching a, a practice of two juniors with uh, Ryan and Ethan, and one of the kids, like, he had a ball, like, bouncing, like, two steps away from him, and he's he wants sliding, sliding and I'm like, dude, I'm like the new generation. Yeah. <laughs> it's like everywhere. Like, you know, we want, we want, I, I mean, we grew up we watching Morpheus play, bro. Yeah, it's you got crazy, to slide. Man. If you're like, not sliding, you're not playing tennis. Yeah. <laughs> Is that more for, for injury reasons or for efficiency reasons? For efficiency reasons, for, you know, like what we were talking before, for the idea of being well balanced, you know, for the position that you get into to recover after, for stress reasons, you know, in terms of, in terms of uh, injuries. Yeah. We try to avoid it as much as we can. As I say, if it happens, it happens. Yeah. We're okay with it, you know. But if we can avoid it and we can do something different about it, if we can run through the ball, you know, if we can like... So we try to stimulate like the drill that you were shot, like mm -hmm. talking about, for example, where Tommy did, you know, that movement and then there is the video posted and stuff like mm -hmm. that. He's not sliding, you know. He actually slides a little bit after the last forehand. Mm -hmm. He hits and then slides a little bit. Yeah. And that is some, some of the process of what we been working you know and cleaning up his footwork during the last years like when we started in 2019 to now with brad a lot has to do with that you know with the argument regarding slide or not slide mm -hmm. uh, it's tough to say you know when you got someone like sinner you know like sliding here everywhere and, and, and but uh, in in our case you know with with brad and what we have done with tommy we try to avoid it as much as we can and if we can find a better way to move if we can move faster on the ball and be able to to run through and create a better shot, you know, and stuff like that, we, we try to do it. I feel like also in terms of spacing, like for me at least, who I'm not a natural mover, like I feel like my hand-eye coordination is pretty good, but my movement is not necessarily the greatest. So if I'm, for example, on clay, you know, you're taught to slide before the ball because if you slide after the ball, you'll be out of position and like a mm -hmm. few steps, you know, more to recover. Yeah. But on a hard court, if I'm sliding into the court, I don't, I already have a challenge on clay, like, spacing like i don't know if i slide into a ball if i'll be too close too far and i feel like it's gonna be even worse on a hard court like you're not gonna know how close you are to the ball like if you don't slide naturally with different courts some are more gritty some are not gritty so like yeah. i mean i guess sliding after a shot at the end of the day now you're decelerating to try and change direction but if you're decelerating Correct. to stop at a certain moment that's why I, I find it challenging. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, no, a hundred percent. I thought that the question was oriented to hard courts. That's why yeah, I, it was. Of it course, was. on clay court, on clay court, we all me. know, you know. You, <laughs> you know, no, no, on clay court, you know, we all know that you, you tend to, you know, like slide and hit, like get that little yeah. slide sometimes to kind of like load, use the use the court to to load and then hit to kind of like create force against the ground, grip the ground, and but uh, but on the hard court scenario, yeah, I think that definitely. I, I prefer and we prefer like to avoid as much as we can. Okay. If it happens, uh, it's okay. You know, it's part of the game, mm -hmm. but we try to avoid as much as we can.